Hi there. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. How are you doing today? My name is Vishnu Dutt and I work as a network architect in Cisco Systems. Let's discuss the first and crucial question of the series. That is, why do we need to write a subnet mask along with IP address? Suppose we have an IP address that is 192.168.10.50 here. This IP address is assigned to this laptop, this one. Yeah. If you ask me, this IP address doesn't have any meaning at all unless you write subnet mask with it. So if you write 192.168.10.50 slash 24, where this slash 24 is the subnet mask, this IP address becomes meaningful. As you know, an IP address is a logical address and the logic behind it is specified by the subnet mask. Got the point? No? Let's discuss this in detail. So we all know that an IP address is 32 bits long and it is divided into two parts, network part and host part. But how do we know that which part is the network number and from where the host part starts? We could find this information easily from subnet mask. For example, for this IP address here, the starting 24 bits referred by subnet mask represent network and the remaining 8 bits represents host. As we know that each decimal number of IP address that is 192 or 168 or 10 or 50 is represented by 8 bits, correct? This means these three numbers represent the network these three till here, right? And this dot 50 represents hosts. So let's write down both 192.168.10.0 slash 24 is my network number. It is important to know that we have put an extra zero as the fourth octet to calculate our network number. Will this number be always zero? And the answer is no. We always take the first number from the host part to calculate the network number. If you don't get my last statement, let's understand it in more detail. We have written that our network number is 192.168.10.0 and the host part is .50. Let's understand this host part, but before that, a simple question for you guys. How many states or permutations can be formed with a single bit? This is simple. The answer is two because a bit can take only two values that is zero or one. Okay. If I modify this question a little bit, that how many permutations can be made with two bits? The answer would be four, right? And the possible values are zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Correct. You can easily figure out the formula to calculate the various permutations based on number of bits. And the formula is 2 to the power n, where n is the number of bits. So if you want to calculate the permutations with 3 bits, the answer would be 2 to the power 3 or 8. Got it? Simple enough. Now let's get back to our original conversation. As we can see, the last 8 bits are for host part. Can you calculate the number of hosts that can be represented by 8 bits? Yes, correct. It will be 2 to the power 8 or 256. So what does it mean? The meaning is that this IP network contains 256 different hosts numbered as 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192 similarly dot 2 dot 3 till 255 okay we have reserved two hosts for a special purpose the first one which in this case is host number 0 is used for the network number and that is why the network number of ip address 192.168.10.50/24 is 192.168.10.0/24 the second reserved host is the last host, that is .255, which is used as the broadcast address. This means 192.168.10.255 
will be the broadcast address of the network 192.168.10.0/24 this is perfectly fine if you don't know the meaning of broadcast address as we will discuss this in detail in upcoming videos of the series are we good till this point now we can easily say that this ip network has 254 valid host addresses out of which two that is dot zero and dot 255 have been reserved right i hope you are still with me right let's reiterate it once again ip address 192.168.10.50/24 has the network number as 192.168.10.0/24 and broadcast address as 192.168.10.255 please pay close attention to this network number this network has 254 valid hosts from 1 to 254 correct so in this network we have 192.168.10.1 host we have 192.168.10.2 host and so on till dot 255 and yes the ip address 192.168.10.50 slash 24 with which we begin this topic is the 50th valid host of this network so from now on if you get the concept right Whenever you see an IP address, let's say 192.168.10.100/24, your mind should tell you that this is the IP address of 100th host in network 192.168.10.0. Okay, this is simple enough. Correct, guys. But most of the times in real life examples, you get different subnet masks like slash 21 slash 25 or slash 29 how would you deal with them if you understand how to divide a network you can easily deal with these subnet masks as promised in the last video we will calculate most of the things in decimal number system which is more convenient to us as compared to binary number system correct so let's clean the board and go into more details so here you go we have a new board Let's see what happens when we divide a network into multiple networks or subnetworks. Once again, we have the same network that is 192.168.10.0/24. We have 256 hosts in this network. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, that is all right that we have reserved two addresses for network and broadcast, but still those are addresses, right? If I ask you that you need to divide this network, this one, into two subnetworks, this task should be simple enough, right? You could say that 256 can be divided into two parts, and those are 128 each, correct? See, as promised, you are calculating in decimal instead of binary, right? Now, let's write the two subnetworks. First network will have 120 hosts numbered from 0 to 127 correct as you know the first and last host address of this network are reserved for network number and broadcast address respectively hence the network number of our newly created network would be 192.168.10.0 and the broadcast address would be 192.168.10.127 try to think why broadcast address is dot 127 here and you will get the logic if not then rewind this video and play it again the second subnetwork let's write it here okay will also have 128 hosts numbered from 128 to 255 correct so here the network number would be 192.168.10.128 10.128 and the broadcast address will be 192.168.10.255 but wait a minute what should be the network mask of these subnetworks this is easy to calculate when we had 256 host addresses in the network here we have 8 bits as the host part but now here we have 128 hosts which could require 7 bits because 
2 to the power 7 is 128 correct this means 7 bits for the host part and as IP address is 32 bit long we remain with 25 bits for network part as you know subnet mask tells us the network bits of a network hence the subnet mask for this network would be 25 correct with the same logic here also the subnet mask will be 25 got it isn't it easy let's continue with the example now let's say i want to further divide these two networks okay consider this first one as you know this network has 128 hosts and when we divide it again we have two networks each of 64 hosts correct first network will be having host number from 0 to 63 the first host address that is 192.168.10.0 will be the network number and the last host address which is 192.168.10.63 will be the broadcast address similarly the next 64 hosts numbered from 64 to 127 will be in this network here this side the network number would be 192.168.10.64 and the broadcast address would be 192.168.10.127 okay on the right hand side also let's write the network number and subnet mask as we know in this sub network we will be having hosts numbered from 128 to 191 correct 192.168.10.128 would be the network number and 192.168.10.191 would be the broadcast address i leave the task of filling up the network and broadcast address of the fourth network here to you guys so once again the question what should be the subnet mask of these newly created four networks as you can see we have 64 hosts now in each of these networks, which require six bits because 2 to the power 6 is 64 right if we are using six bits for host then the remaining bits or 26 bits would be used as network bits right so the subnet mask for all these networks would be slash 26 correct as you can see till now we have divided this network into four smaller networks. you can further divide this network into 8 or 16 or 32 or 64 sub networks right please continue to further divide this network in your notebook for better understanding so the good news is that you just learned IP subnetting, right? One interesting question arise here is why there is a need to divide a particular network? The answer is simple and we can understand it with an example. Consider a network 172.16.0.0 slash 16. In this network, the host part is of 16 bits, which means we can have 2 to the power 16 host addresses or 65,536 hosts. We will see in upcoming videos that maintaining a single network of approximately 65,000 hosts presents several technical challenges, and hence it is wiser to divide this large network into smaller networks. Are you with me, guys? Yep. Till this point, we have understood the various concepts involved with IP addressing. In next video, we are going to discuss the second question of the series, which is how two computers talk when they are in same network. Hope you have enjoyed this video. See you in next one.